Well, hello there. Welcome to another What's This Indesk by Rocker. My name is Barry. And in this video, I'm going to be helping you understand side conversations. Now, side conversations in Zendesk are exactly that. You're having conversations on the side, but from within a ticket itself. This enables you to bring conversations outside of your Zendesk instance directly into your Zendesk ticket. So you might be thinking, what is the business case for using this feature? Why does it exist in Zendesk? Well, Say you have a third party service provider who provides a product or a service to your business. And maybe you need their help in resolving a, a ticket that a customer has logged to you. You can reach out to them um, without even needing to, without them even needing to use Zendesk itself. They don't need an agent license, they don't need any license, and they can communicate with you directly into your Zendesk ticket. Here is an example. A very unhappy customer logs a ticket with your company. In the ticket, they are threatening to sue your organization. However, your, your company is not yet big enough, so you don't have an internal legal department. But you do employ the services of an external legal firm. Now, because your agents are very capable people, the agent dealing with this ticket will start a side conversation with someone from that legal firm to ask for their assistance. Now, you, you must understand the following things about side conversations. Side conversations are not available on the team and growth licensing plans. You need either professional, enterprise, or hire. You can't use side conversations in the Zendesk app. You can use side conversations in triggers and macros. You can, and you can only use side conversations um, via email, Slack, and child ticket channels. Side conversations are, are only ever recorded as internal notes or, or private comments. And so they'll always remain hidden from the end user or original poster or the customer who logged the ticket. So they'll never see uh, what the side conversation is about, what you have. So, so uh, let me show you how this works. Right. Now, on my screen, you'll see that there's a ticket that's come through from a customer whose uh, name is Verily Not Happy. And she has said that she's unhappy with the product she purchased and she's threatening to sue the organization. Now, you'll see that there are tags in the ticket for complaints, that it's a legal issue, it's got a high priority, the type is a question. Now, side conversations have already been enabled for this ticket, but side conversations are not enabled or not configured by default. So you'd have to go and enable them and configure them yourself to get them to be part of your tickets. To do that, you need to navigate to Zendesk Admin. Once you're in Zendesk Admin, navigate to Objects and Rules, Tickets, and then Settings. Under ticket settings, you'll see settings for comments, attachments. All you do is scroll all the way to the bottom until you find something that says side conversations. Once you see side conversations, what you'll notice is if it's not enabled, all these check boxes will be unticked. What you do is you just tick the boxes for the channels that you want your side conversations to be enabled for. So natively, Zendesk supports enablement for Slack, enablement for email and enablement for child tickets, depending on how you want to use side conversations. Obviously, email is for people outside of your organization, outside of using Zendesk, who you're going to communicate with via email. Child tickets are for other departments or groups of users within Zendesk who want to manage and track their own tickets. So you'll use side conversations into those tickets for them. And then you'll have Slack for maybe like an IT, internal IT department or uh, another external who uses Slack as communication. So those are the three native options that you can choose for side conversations. Once you've done, click on the save tab. This will save your settings. And now if you go back to your ticket, you'll find that that side conversations is now available. So right at the top of the ticket where all the tabs are, you'll see something that says side conversations. Now I've read the matter for Barry Lee and I understand that she's unhappy but now I need some assistance from our legal firm. 
What I'm doing now is that I'm going to reach out to a lady named Ivana. Now, I know Ivana from previous engagements where she's helped me before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Ivana's email address and I'm going to put it into the side conversation. To start the side conversation, all I merely do is click on side conversation or I'll click on the plus and choose the channel. So I want an email. I'm going to click on the plus and go new email. Always when you start a side conversation, you're going to probably start like this. First, I put in Ivana's email address. I want to get a law degree at thefirm.com and I'm going to hit enter to save it. Next, I'm going to put in the subject. It's just like a normal email that like you would do from Gmail or even Outlook. However, you do your email and you're going to put in a subject and you're going to put in a message. So in this particular instance, I'm telling Ivana that this customer, Barry Lee, she's very not happy and she wants to sue the company for a million dollars. Anyway, right. So I send off this email through a side conversation to Ivana and it gets recorded within the ticket as a private comment. These are hidden from the requester, okay, the, the end user who's logged the ticket, the customer. They won't see these conversations. And when Ivana comes back to me and she tells me what to do and she advises me, those comments will also still be hidden within the ticket, but they'll be part of the ticket, which is really useful. So you might be wondering, okay, well, what's the business case? The business case is it's that easy to bring external conversations into your Zendesk. And really the value there is great efficiencies for your agents when they're dealing with third parties, people outside of Zendesk, but you wanna bring their interactions into Zendesk because there you can track them, you can manage them, you can log them. My interactions with Havana are not sitting on a different email address in Outlook or in Gmail. They're part of the ticket, so it's easy to track. Isn't that just great? That's a brilliant feature that Zendesk has offered us. And that's it. That's how easy side conversations are to configure, set up with your Zendesk instance and even use. That's it for now. I hope this was really useful to you. And remember to look out for another What's This in Zendesk by Rocker. Until next time, keep well. God bless. All the best. And see you soon.